majority of cars being built today are going more and more electronic, which means more and more sensors. So today we're going to talk about just two of those sensors and they both have to deal with the throttle body. So the first one is just a throttle positioning sensor or a TPS. This one's going to be located directly on the throttle body itself. Its only job is to read the position of the throttle body plate. So it's going to tell the computer, hey, this is how far open or closed it is so it can match the amount of air that's coming in to the amount of fuel. So when you hit your gas pedal, that throttle body is going to be open a little bit farther, therefore letting more air in. So once more air goes in, you're going to need more fuel to match that to the correct ratio. So that's what this sensor does. It's going to tell the computer, hey, this is how far the sensor is open, and it's going to need this much fuel in order to get your best combustion with that amount of air. So the second sensor we're going to talk about is the throttle body temperature sensor. This one doesn't have a fancy acronym like the last one, but it is attached to the throttle body itself. Its only job is to check the temperature of the air actually coming through the throttle body. And it also actually checks the temperature of the throttle body itself. It's going to kind of take those two numbers together and send it off to the ECU. So the whole reason behind this sensor is just to make sure that your vehicle is running very efficiently. It's going to measure the temperature of the air coming in. If it comes in too hot, it's actually going to vaporize sooner. So if it comes in too hot, they actually add more fuel to it to cool it down. And if it comes in too cold, they'll actually take fuel out in order to warm it up. The whole thing is just so you make sure that your engine's running as efficiently as possible. 